This is the Lock Picking Lawyer. Today I bring you a tale of two multi-locks, both of them interactives. This is the first one. Some of you may recognize this as a lock that I purchased off of eBay a couple weeks ago. It ended up coming with the incorrect key pins that disabled the pin-in-pin -pin functionality, which obviously was a disappointment. However, Papa Gleb stepped up, got me the correct key pins, and also got me some really nasty serrated multi-lock driver pins. He pinned this back up for me and it works perfectly again and is probably about the hardest interactive pick that, uh, that I've ever done. It's really a challenge, it's a lot of fun to pick. So thank you to Papa Gleb for, for helping me out with this. This is the other multi-lock interactive. This is a multi-lock interactive cam lock. It works perfectly. I'm not taking it apart yet, but this is probably the easiest multi-lock interactive I've ever picked. Let me uh, let me get to work and I'll and I'll show you. Hopefully it'll it'll open on video for us. Then we'll take it apart and we'll try to figure out what what made this one so easy. So I'm going to take my flag along the right side, shove it back, see what it binds on, keep repeating that process, and, and hopefully it'll open up for us. Okay, I feel like I'm stopping on the outer pin on number three. Got a little bit of a click there. Now we're on number four. Click out of him. Number five, the outer pin. Also got a click. Pulled it back. It stopped on number two. Pushing the outer pin up. Got a nice click out of him. That was the interactive chamber. Now I'm on one with the outer pin. Okay. We got a nice little false set there, which means probably all of our outer pins are set. I just hit the inner pin on one. That false set dropped even deeper. Inner pin on two's not giving me anything. Inner pin on three gave me a little click. Nothing out of four. And there's the inner pin on five opened up just like he always has. So I guess it shows that not all multi-locks are created equal. So let's open this guy up and try to figure out what makes this one so much easier than every other multi-lock interactive I've picked. Okay. Take this clip off the back. And I've had trouble in the past with pick with gutting multi-locks. Uh, the cores are serrated, there's a lot of holes where, where you wouldn't expect. So generally what I do is I take a shim before I, I gut them place it in front of the, the driver pins in the hope that I can avoid any problems. It's not always easy to get in place, but it's better than, than locking a core up, which I have done, by the way. Okay, let's see how that goes. Perfect. Okay, let's start with, with dumping these key pins out. Just dump these out to start with, and then I'll, I'll arrange them. Okay. Got a standard key pin in one, standard in two, standard in three. We have a spooled key pin in number four, and also a spooled key pin in number five. Okay, let's take a look at the, the driver pins now. Okay. Okay, that's a very odd driver. It's certainly pin in pin, but it's, uh, it's very shallow. Probably had to do that to 
to fit the cam lock profile. Same thing in two. Same thing in three. Same thing in four. And the same thing in five. So let me bring you in for a close-up. I'll show you the pinning on this multi-lock interactive cam lock. <clears throat> All standard driver pins with the very shallow pin-in-pin -pin functionality, but it does have that functionality. Then all standard key pins except for four and five which have spooled tops. That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.